Welcome to a wonderful day. It's a sunny day. It's Holy Thursday. And the Church of the Holy Sepulchre at that time, that part of the day is closed because of the procession inside the church. The Catholic procession. And still, it was so important for me to visit that place to bless uh, the church with a Jerusalem cross to light the candles, which I will do that later on. And Reza, just because you ask, uh, here it is. I uh, got you the blue scarf and I had a problem. I loved two of them. Amazing ones. Then I decided to buy both of them. One, one of them will be uh, uh, a present from, uh, from me. Uh, it was such a beautiful thing. Then, to bless your church, uh, to bless the cross, to bless, uh, to light the candles, and to bless the skirt inside the church. I will do that, um, let's say, Friday. Uh, yeah, Friday, tomorrow. I will try to do that. If not, next week. But... I um, want to bless it all over the, um, the Via de la Rosa, the stations outside the church. Then in that case, we will actually start doing it soon, but let me organize everything. Reza is a very good friend of mine. He is one of my subscribers, and every one of my subscribers is part of my family. But Reza talks to with me a lot and uh, via uh, WhatsApp, uh, um, Facebook and uh, Instagram, Instagram and uh, we became friends. And Reza doing something that I wish that I could do. He always asked me to bless others. For example, today we're gonna uh, uh, celebrate the Via de la Rosa or the agony of uh, Jesus, together with Pastor Fahad and uh, his wife, Shanaz. But, though he didn't ask me to mention a name, I will mention, if it's okay, by you, Reza, as well, because Reza is a saint guy. Then, in that case, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is um, the end of the Via Dolorosa, but it was such an important thing for me to show you that indeed the Holy Thursday, the doors will be closed. Then, in that case, we will skip the main part of the church. We will do that later on, but we will enter, let's see if they will uh, ask me, if they will let me to the Greek Orthodox Church to show you where Mary met Jesus after the resurrection then um, beautiful beautiful church and on Sunday, according to the Greek Orthodox, that's where Mary saw Jesus after his resurrection. And look how beautiful is that and iconostasis. And this is the beautiful thing here because um, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is belongs to so many. Excuse me, thank you. We saw you saw the Greek Orthodox. But the Catholic now are in the church praying. Then, uh, sadly, I cannot go in. I could be there, but until 6 p.m., and I'm not sure that I want it, although one day I will do that. And next to it is the chapel of the Ethiopians, which, uh, according to them, is a creation of, um, of a visit between Queen Shiva and King Solomon. But before that... Pastor Fahad and his wife Shanaz. Uh, we were climbing to the tent station, which is always closed because it's not it's really quite quite dangerous to climb here and it's a small chapel. But the windows are clean that we might see. Yeah, we can see the inner part of it. This is the tent station of the cross. That is where 
They stripped him from his clothes and the women of Jerusalem looked at the crucifixion, which is right there. Another thing that you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the upper part of the window, uh, difficult to see, it's too clean. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's kind of a mosaic from the crusader time. Then, let's try not to fall. And we will continue through the Ethiopian church. Look how beautiful it is. Beautiful place. The Ethiopian believes that the Ark of the Covenant is in their country, then in that case, the church is divided into two, the disciple and the holy of the holy, which is uh, the inner part. Let's climb up. We're heading to the ninth station of the cross. The Ethiopians are organizing themselves to another ceremony to their uh, um, Holy Week that will begin next week. I mean, this Sunday, the Greek, the Catholic, Protestant celebrated uh, Palm Sunday. Next Sunday, it's going to be theirs, the Greek Orthodox, the uh, Ethiopians, and I will try to be here as well because it's such a beautiful thing to see. Um, then this is the roof of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre that belongs to the Ethiopians. You can see here an Ethiopian village. And the tree, according to what they believe, is the place that Abraham almost sacrificed his son Isaac. In a way, it's Achi, it's Isaac. Oh, look how beautiful is the cross there. Then let's let's continue with with the Via del Rosa, and we will we will reach now the ninth station. We saw the tenth station. We are going to the ninth station. Then we are doing it from from A to Z, from Z to A. About the Via del Rosa, some of you will look at me and say, Ah, oh, Tachi. Oh, let's listen. You can hear the, the Egyptian, if I'm not wrong. Where are they? Maybe right there. Then, in that case, that place belongs to the Egyptian, and the ninth station of the cross is here. But the mattress that you see here belongs to another person that I believe soon will be um, how should I say it? Saint. Um, his name is Yaakov, or Jacob, or James, or Jacob. He actually decided to live like uh, Jesus, and that's where he slept. He dressed himself like uh, Jesus, and um, but he's not. I mean, he's not even trying. We just want to be as 
as close as you can to God by doing it. That's the ninth station of the cross. That's where Jesus fell for the third time. Then in, in that case, the Via Dolorosa, the way of the cross, the way of the misery, um, tells us about 14 stories, 14 stations that happened to Jesus on the way from the crucifixion, from the judgment place, from the praetorium to the crucifixion place. And we're going to reach the praetorium soon together with you and together with um, Pastor Fahed and uh, his wife Shanez and Reza. I know that you don't want to, uh, you didn't want me to add your name into it, but what can I say? You are just like my brother. Then the Church of the Holy Sepulchre used to be so big. But as you can see now, it actually stopped here. But at the fourth century, when Saint Helen built it, it reached, let me show you exactly where. But it'd been destroyed a lot. And before you will ask me, how can it be that Jesus was buried in a church? Then I will tell you that he wasn't. That area was outside the walls and the Jews uh, not been buried inside the city or never been buried in the city. And what you can see here is the church that was built on top of the crucifixion site uh, and the resurrection site. Um, 300 years after the ascension of Jesus, it used to be a quarry. It used to be a, play, uh, a cemetery later on, quarry of King Herod, and then a cemetery. Then those two totally are outside the city. Uh, think about a quarry in the middle of the city. But uh, today the city is different than the city of 2,000 years ago. I mean, think about your city 2,000 years ago. <laughs> oh, before we will, all right. Let me show you that. That was the end of the entrance of the church in the 4th century. Uh, but in this church been destroyed so many times. And you can see the, their uh, white dome. That's the Jewish quarter. And this is the Muslim quarter. Then we are leaving the Christian quarter, heading to the Muslim quarter to visit the 8th station of the cross. It's such an important three days. Yes, Easter, but Passover is uh, tomorrow. Passover meal is tomorrow night, uh, and tomorrow morning it's Easter, it's uh, a Good Friday, and tomorrow it's uh, I think the third um, third prayer or third weekend of Ramadan, and all together. Ah, such a nice breeze. Most of the Christians were here early morning. I was here too at the Catholic procession. Then now it's, uh, it's not so uh, crowded, as you can see. Look at him. Hello. Um, I know that you asked me not to listen to something else besides Christian uh, uh, Christianity, but uh, you know, people got radio, and you could hear uh, different kind of languages here. But this is the beauty of it. We are entering to the Muslim quarter, and that market. It's not a touristic market, it's for the local people, which is nice to see. Let us turn left. Ah, oh, they're graining coffee. To the eighth station of the cross. Huh? 
the scarf and the candles are in my bag, but I'm blessing it from time to time. But whereas I cannot hold it, uh, hold them all together. That is the eighth station when the winner of we were Jerusalem saw Jesus, and they were crying. And he say, "Why are you crying now? You're gonna cry later on." Um, Then here it is, eighth station of the cross. We just bless it. Just a moment, please. Oh. Here it is. Seventh station of the cross is where Jesus fell for the second time. The ninth station, remember, he fell for the third time. We're doing it backward. And um, the Bible never mentioned three times. The Bible never mentioned that he fell. He mentioned, uh, the Bible mentioned that he, was, he, he fell dizzy. But without any reason on falling from time to time. But Jesus had so many reasons. He was captured. He was judged. He had to carry his cross. They laughed at him. They mocked at him. They beat him. Then happy he wasn't. Then in that case, can he fall? Yes, of course, can he fall? Can he fall three times? Yes, he can. Then in that case, this is the second time that Jesus fell. And let's uh, bless the cross here as well because the chapel is open. It's not really obvious. Look how beautiful it is. So chilly and nice here. Fahid, Pastor Fahid and Shnez. Look up here for it is. On the way out, you will be able to see a column from second century. That was the main road at the second century. It was quite wide. That was, as I believe, one of the shops at that time. Then, in that case, second century, 150 years or 30 years after Jesus ascended into heaven. Then, in that case, I chose it that it was outside the city. And this is the column. And if it was outside the city, now we are entering into the city from the time of Jesus. That was kind of the gate of ancient time. And we are going through the Via Dolorosa road to the sixth station. For the rest of you who you want who wants to enjoy the idea of blessing their cross in Jerusalem. Um, then go to the description of my video of that video and, uh, and so many other videos look for buy me a coffee link uh, you will get all the information and yes i will send a, um, i will send it uh, to pastor and his wife pastor farhad and yes i will upload your video as well um, to YouTube, then you will be able to send it to everyone. And this is the evidence that this is your. And. Uh, uh, coffee, this is the guy. <laughs> and welcome to Jerusalem. Jerusalem coffee, this is the man. Done. And we are reaching the sixth station, which for me is quite an important station. That's where St. Veronique saw Jesus walking up. He was sweating. And I must tell you that I'm, I'm not sweating, but it's hot. Yeah, well, a little bit. Then uh, April can be a very 
difficult uh, uh, um, month. Then in that case, Saint Veronica saw him and she asked herself, should I clean the sweat? Should I do that? Because if I'll do that, I might, um, they might crucify me too. Then the answer was, yes, I'm doing it. I don't know what's happened to Saint Veronic, but I salute her. Because she knew that she's doing something that might be a little bit difficult um, for her. Then you can see a column from first century with the name Veronica on it. And that place belonged to the Catholic, but to the Greek Catholic, Saint Veronica. And we are heading to another station, to the fifth station, and that station was mentioned in the Bible. That's where, um, that's where Saint Simon helped Jesus to carry the cross. Hello, hello, hello. You can see my shop. You don't have to buy. That Saint Simon. What Saint Simon did in the city now? It's, it's Passover. Then Passover, every Jew had to be in the city. Why? Because God told, us, told them to do that. Then in that case, um, three times a year, every Jew had to be in Jerusalem. That was the only place to pray at the Jewish temple, which is now part of Al-Aqsa Mosque. Then, in that case, to find a Jew from Libya, Simon, wasn't something special. There were Jews from all over the world. He was very close, let's say. He was at a garden. Then, in that case, remember the garden? And the city started there. Then, in that case, uh, they stopped him and forced him to... Help Jesus. Excuse me. That's where they end with a nice mess and singing. Saint Simon. This is the fifth station of the cross. But the most important part of the fifth station is that stone. Because we believed that Jesus was staying here, staying here and he couldn't breathe. He couldn't breathe. Oh, it was so difficult. You have to carry the cross. You know that you're going to be crucified. Then in that case, Saint Simon helped him to carry the cross upstairs to the Golgotha, to the Calvary. Here it is, the fifth station of the cross. And we're going to... Well, you can see that it's part of the Via Dolorosa Street. We're now walking with the Muslims who went out of the temple of the Al-Aqsa. It's Ramadan time. I'm trying not to drink and not to eat in the Muslim quarter at Ramadan time. They are doing it for 30 days. I can do that for... Uh, I can do it for... Um, Two hours, nothing will happen to me. And we are reaching the fourth and the third station of the cross. The fourth station, as I believe, it's still closed, and it is closed. Then let's, but let's go in. Let's go in just to show you where we are. It's part of the Armenian. Catholic Church and that's where the mother saw Jesus it's not in the Bible but Pastor Fahad Shanez I'm sure that you know better than me I'm not even trying to tell you things that you don't know I'm sure that you know everything but Shanaz, you can understand the mother. 
who knows that her child is going to be crucified. She is going to be next to him. She won't leave him. And wow, now I'm sweating. See, it's April. Humid. And um, that's the date case. Although it, well, the Bible never mentioned that Mary was next to him. Mary was at the crucifixion, but not uh, on the Via Dolorosa. I believe that Mary tried to be as close as she can to her child. And this is the chapel that actually tells us about it. The third station is when he, where he fell for the first time. And that belongs to the Armenian as well. And it's a beautiful chapel. And that chapel is open. Oh, look at that fruit. Hello again. <laughs> and uh, This is one of the chapels that when I'm entering here, I feel the agony, I feel the sadness and, and the holiness of, of it. Look at Jesus himself. Can I put it here? Look at the face of Jesus. Look at the angels. You can feel the agony. You can feel the sadness. Pastor Fahad, look upstairs. And look at the Christus in gold. And outside you can see the blood tears. And the Armenian flag is in front of us, and it belongs to Armenia. And you can see here the Polish soldiers. Ah, now you can see it beautifully. Following Jesus. What the Polish, uh, Polish soldiers are doing it, doing here? Very easy. At the Second World War, they ran away from the from Europe to here, and they helped the Armenians. Yellow hat. Oh, look at that. Beautiful place to sit, Basti. I love to sit here because I can see the people walking. And uh, it's Christian, Muslim, Jews, all of them together. It's, I think it's beautiful. And don't ever miss the rooftop of the Austrian Hospice, which is another beautiful hotel. We are heading to the second and first station of the Via Dolorosa in the Via Dolorosa Street. The lights here are mainly for the Ramadan feast at sunset time. At sunset time, they can eat and drink. Then let's uh, celebrate with them. And we can actually say, uh, say Ramadan Karim. It's like happy Ramadan. And in front of you, the bold, ugly guy is Danny. And here is Danny! <laughs> He's a good friend of mine. Hey! 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 Hey!
Sorry to, sorry to interrupt the video. Sorry. Yeah, and we are walking with agony now. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> But I enjoy. <laughs> Uh, then, uh, then, beautiful to be here at, after sunset. On the horizon, you can see in front of you, you can see the uh, part of a triumph arch. But, The prison of Christ is open. Then let's see if the priest will let me visit it. I will try to be quiet. That is the Protorium of uh, the Greek Orthodox. And remember, they will celebrate uh, Easter next week. Tomorrow it's the Good Friday of the Catholic and Protestant. And to, and, And next week, on Friday, it's going to be of the Greek Orthodox. So let's go in and, and see if they will let me go visit it. Hey, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thank you. A question for you. First of all, remember that this amazing uh, monk gave me a permit to go in with you. Then, uh, he taught me something that I didn't know, which uh, was so important for me. Um, when they, the Romans, when they actually, uh, they beat, they uh, act brutally to everyone, even if they are um, uh, not guilty, it doesn't matter. First, they will beat them. And after they beat them, they used to put them in that kind of bath with water with salt, a lot of salt. And you know what happened to salt and wounds and blood. Then this is a part of suffer, suffer, suffer. Yeah, not easy. Then now we will continue to see... Um, where Barabbas was captured. Then we will wait. You can see this looks like a dungeon quarry made by a man. And according to what we believe, or at least the Greek Orthodox believe, this is the prison of Baraba. Who is Baraba, are you asking? Some say Barabbas, but I prefer the Barabba like that, because I will explain you why. He was another one who was put in, uh, uh, in prison to be charged by, uh, uh, judged by Pontius Pilate, because he was a robber and he killed people. And when um, Pontius Pilate so that Jesus is innocent, he asked the Jews, maybe it's better for me to release Barabba and, uh, and uh, oh, sorry, you can choose between Barabba or Jesus. And the Jews uh, ask for Barabba. Now, the meaning of the name Bar, Abba, it's an Aramite in Hebrew, and it's the son of the father, which is the name of Jesus himself. Yeah, so many questions. It's so nice to know Aramite in Hebrew and to understand better the Bible, though I must say that I need to study 
ancient Latin because the Bible itself was written in ancient Latin. Um, uh, Greek, sorry, not Latin. But if I will study Latin, I will be uh, even better. Right? I will be, I will be happy, happier. Then I'm climbing up to show you where was the prison of Jesus, according to the Greek Orthodox. But the prison of uh, Baraba, of uh, the Catholic uh, option, is so close to here. Then it shows you that the place was here somewhere. Then in that case, we saw Barabbas, we know who was Barabbas, and we're entering to the most important part in that area, and that is the prison of Christ. <coughs> you can see here that when they used to put something special, and Jesus was different, they used to put it aside, not with the others, and you can see that here they tied his one hand. The other hand was there. I mean, the string. And his legs were right here. Then, you got the message. second time this week that I entered here, but it's usually closed and um, you've got power, pa Pastor Fahad and his wife. Thank you very much. It's yours now. <laughs> Please, don't be sorry. You're welcome. If it's okay by you, my Pastor Fahad, I know that Betty uh, loves the story of the prison. Then, if it's okay by you, Raza, let me just bless Betty too. We are blessed. We are blessed. And let me tell you why we are totally blessed today. But first, let's go outside. Then, we are still at the Via Dolorosa, and according to uh, the floor that we actually touch, according to the G Greek Orthodox, this is the original part of the original Via Dolorosa, because that floor is from. Uh, 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 that floor is from 19, uh, 
uh, 20th century, or at least most of it. I had to do that today, although the church is closed, but so far, mainly because the atmosphere of of um, uh, Easter is now, is here, and we are in Holy Friday, Holy Thursday. Then the church, uh, I will do that next week. It won't be a problem at all. No, no, thank you very much. Now that. It's first that you see to your right side, straight ahead, but the right part. That is part of the Antonia, according to the Catholic. And Jesus was uh, judged by Pontius Pilate, uh, Pilate Rider. But it's a school, answered by the Muslims. It's an elementary school. Then tomorrow they're going to use it, because tomorrow it's not a, uh, they're not studying Tomorrow's holiday, and look at that. And this is this is something. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew 16, 24. That's what we are doing now. That's what we are doing now. Pamshni <laughs> Ayum. And because we cannot pray at the Protorium, Antonia, the Catholic built themselves the first and the second station next to it. Then, because we are doing it backward, let's start with the second. But there are people there. Then let's switch to the first station, and then we will. Uh, and the tour at the second station. If you didn't find the link of buy me a coffee, you can always send me a message and I will send you the link. And if you didn't subscribe my channel till now and you love it, then please do that and send it to all over your friends. Um, I really feel that what I'm doing now is um, from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that I'm making us Better person, better people. Then, second station, let's see if it's empty. It is, then I can talk. It's not an old church, but it was built on top of an old church. Berlucci built it. Berlucci built so many churches in uh, Israel and Palestine. But look at the three windows. Here you can see Barabbas. We saw Barabbas, we saw the prison of his, there. We know that it's the son of the father, which is the name of Jesus. Here can t you can see Jesus, and to the left, Pontius Pilate, washing his hands. And look at the ceiling. Look at a tone of horn. The inside, it's blossom, it's pure. Outside, you can see the blood tear of it. Now, every Catholic church, the, we can see the 14 stations that we did today. Today, we didn't see it. We actually started from the 10 and and uh, from the tent to the first one, but um, next time I will take the cross, I will take the skirt, I will take the candles, and I will continue to bless it at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It might be uh, Pastor Farhead and Mrs. Shanaz. Uh, a different video. Why not? Then you will have two videos.
I do have a problem because he's now meditating and it's difficult for me to disturb him. Then I hope that he can hear me. This is the second station. That's where the Via Dolorosa actually started. is already wearing the king's uh, dress and that's because they are laughing at him and he's wearing the crown of thorn and um, it's not easy for the mother as well then you can see John the disciple and Mary Magdalene trying to hide the scenery from the mother Sorry, sorry. It's a new camera and I'm still studying it. But what you can see here is a floor that some believe that it's from the time of Jesus, some believe that it's from the second century, but it will show you that the Praetorium main, the Antonia was a kind of a Praetorium, kind of a judgment place. Uh, here you can see um, one. Uh, Roman game, another one is here, and uh, there are another two here, that actually tells us that the Roman soldiers were here for a reason, and if they had to wait, it means that maybe someone was judged there, maybe Jesus was judged there too, while they were playing here. Although it's a floor, let me bless the cross a little bit by touching it, because hundreds, thousands of soldiers actually walked on it, and maybe even Jesus. Let me show you two more Roman games on the floor. And one is here. In less than 24 hours, Jesus will be here. Jesus will be judged again. And so many disciples, this time not only 12, I'm talking about millions of disciples, will be with him in those difficult hours. Then, happy Good Friday, if you can say that. Happy Easter, my friends. Thank you for watching it. Please subscribe my channel. And if you want me, you, if you want me to have another procession anywhere in uh, the old city of Jerusalem, please enter to buy me a coffee. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.